Yeah, it's very true. If the grass will have so much water, they'll be getting uh, grass that is full of moisture and they may not come to the river. But who knows? Now, the hyenas we saw for a few seconds disappearing in the thickets, and I told you I'm going to wait for them. They are all here. They are all out, and I've counted like 20 plus hyenas. This is a very huge pack. And I'm guessing this clan of hyenas here is what we call the North Clan. And I'm sure most of you know the North Clan uh, that are led by the very famous matriarch called Waffles. I got a feeling there could have been a kill in the thicket we saw earlier. And what happened is they all went in there. And once they got there, I think they got the pride of lions there. And because before he moved on, I had a little growl. And I'm thinking the pride of lions just fought these hyenas off and they couldn't stand them. I just want to reverse a little bit and see if we have another chance uh, to catch up with these hyenas again. Just hold on right there, don't go anywhere. And this is the North Clown. Hold on. They're right here, and it's a big, big number. And I think those lions must have fought them off, and they thought they couldn't stand them. I would be surprised to know which prey that was that has been able to fight about 20 hyenas away. So hold on right there. Okay, most of them are on my right. Are you happy there, Bungay? And you can see what they're doing. They're retreating now to their den. There must have been a standoff in that bush. And for the hyenas to give in, I'm very surprised. And because we are very close, uh, very close to the Mara River, I got a feeling, chances are, that Pride of Lions was on the other side of the river and not this side. And hyenas in water are not very good. Otherwise, more often than not, when you get a battle between uh, these two predators here, the hyenas always win.